Celebrating Pride here in Pride Month, and as part of our coverage, we're focusing tonight on the challenges that some in the LGBTQ plus community face when starting a family. Many insurance companies that offer fertility treatments do not pay for same-sex couples. And as CNBC's Contessa Brewer reports, costs for surrogates are soaring. I now pronounce you husband and husband. Zach and Greg's love story began eight years ago. One of the things that became very clear is we both wanted children. But their dreams of a family still haven't become reality. It is a bit of a roller coaster. There's some ups and downs. We probably would have had kids a couple of years ago if we had had the money to do it at the time. And it's just it's just something you really have to plan for and save for. Greg knows the financing challenges. He's also the chief financial officer for a surrogacy agency in California. Same-sex couples often choose between adoption and assisted reproduction, which involves sperm or egg donors. If a surrogate is needed, the cost can skyrocket to $200,000 or more. There are only a handful of states with any kind of fertility insurance mandates, and um, a lot of times they are very sort of gender-specific and they're not inclusive of LGBT uh, intended parents in general. That's because insurers typically define infertility as a medical problem only after a year of trying to get pregnant naturally. Well, that excludes same-sex couples and single people. But a few companies now offer benefits to help all employees create a family, money that can be applied even for adoption or surrogacy. Google, Meta, and Starbucks among them. We know that by continuing to co-create with our partners on the benefits that are most meaningful for them and for their families, we can continue to attract and retain great talent at Starbucks. Where a handful of companies are leading, state legislatures are lagging. We want to make sure that adoption and surrogacy are covered to the extent that, you know, treatment for uh, the disease of infertility or medical treatment is also uh, covered. State legislatures, unfortunately, we are seeing more legislation that's designed to discriminate against the LGBT community from adopting. Rude awakening coming for you. Greg and Zach have saved the money. They now have the embryos and expect to be matched with a surrogate in the next couple weeks. I'm like equal parts excited and terrified about this whole process, candidly. Another big challenge for gay couples, the push for more restrictive abortion laws. Those laws may end up applying to the way embryos are created, stored or destroyed. And contracts with surrogates often include language governing when a pregnancy can or should be terminated. It's such a concern, some agencies now advise intended parents to avoid using surrogates from states with the toughest anti-abortion laws. Chef?